Systems of equations are a great way to solve for two unknowns. When you're given a system, you can apply either the graphing, the substitution, or the elimination method to solve them. But being asked to create your own system can be a little, little daunting. So I'm going to show you how to do it here with the example problem about the zoo to just kind of model what's going on. So there's kind of a four-step process to creating a system of equations and solving it. One, you need to define your variables. What two unknowns are you trying to solve for? And you got to read your story problem to really figure out what those are. So our situation is to enter a zoo, adult visitors must pay $5, whereas children and seniors pay only half price. On one day, the zoo collected a total of $765. If the zoo had 223 visitors that day, how many half-price admissions and how many full-price admissions did the zoo collect? So the question it's asking for is how many kids and seniors, so how many half-price and how many full-priced entries did they have? So those are our two unknowns. Let's go ahead and define them. We'll let X be half-priced admission and y can be the full price admissions okay so those are our variables now we got to start figuring out well what do we know about my x and y quantities well the story problem said that there were a total of 223 visitors so the number of half-price admissions and the number of full-price admissions has to total 223. So I create my first system that way. X plus Y equals 223. So this equation is dealing with quantity of people. The second equation, because it talks about money, is going to be about the monetary component of this story problem. And I know that the adults pay full price and the kids or seniors pay half of that. Well, it's half of five, two and a half. So it is two and a half dollars per half price admissions however many tickets those were. So I'm going to multiply those two values. So that if I find out how many people fell into that category, I multiply it by two and a half to find out how much money was brought in by then. Then added to that is the money that I earned off of the full price admission. Full price admission is $5 per admission. So this step sets it up here. Now how much did I collect altogether from those tickets? The story problem said 765, 765. I now have a system. I've defined my variable. I've created a system. Now the second step in, or sorry, the third step in solving, or in the systems of equations process is going ahead and finding out what the solution is. You can apply any method you would like. Graphing, substitution, elimination. For me, um, I'm probably just going to do the, I'm just going to do the elimination method. I really like that. It's pretty easy. So I see that my y and my 5, if I try to get a common value of a number, a digit 5, it's easier than me working with this 2.5. But because both are positive, I need this one to multiply by a negative so that I'm canceling out my y's. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 5, and when that negative 5 distributes, I get a negative 5x minus 5y equals, and of course I don't have a calculator handy, so we got to go old school, 5 and 3 is 15, 5 and 2 is 10, plus 1, and another. So uh, that would be... 1,115, and that is negative. So now, I have gotten rid of my y. Now, I have a negative 5 and a positive 2.5, different signs, so I have to find the difference. I just cut 5 in half, and that is negative 2.5x. Equaling, now I have to find this difference between 1,115 and 765. Uh, we're, let me use, get my calculator real quick. I hate incorrect calculations. So 
11, 15, minus 765 gives me 350. And that was a negative, so this needs to be a negative, which I need so that I have a negative and negative canceling out, because I'm not going to have a negative number of people going to the zoo. Doesn't make any sense. So I know I'm on track. Now I have to divide. Well, if $350 came from the half price, how many 250s do I have in that? So I take 350, divide it by 2.5, and I get 140. So I have 140 half priced admissions. That then lets me find out what my, the number of full priced admissions is. I know that if I go back to this original equation and I plug in what I have for x, 140 plus y got me 223. So I need to subtract 140 from 223, and that gives me 83 full admissions values. So let's double check that I that actually pencils out correctly. I know it works for the first equation, the x plus y equals 223, but let's make sure that those admissions values also pencil out correctly. So I know that I have for at $2.50 for 140 people because that was x. So 140 times 2.5 equals $350, and then I know that 83 people came at $5 each because that was the full price admission, so I go 5 times 83, and 83 times 5 is going to give me 415. Now, if we did this correctly, that is going to come up with the 765 total that we had before. So if I go 415, 3, 5, 0, 5 and 0 is 5, 5 and 1 is 6, 4 and 3 is 7, 765. Okay, so I found the solution. And we, so the last statement is we state what our solution is. This kind of works, but this isn't as, I mean, it'd be good if it was a little nicer. So 140 half-priced admissions, and then 83 full-priced admissions. So by doing this, you're just verifying you knew what you were solving for. You knew why you did all of that math, and you made this nice, clear statement. So four steps. Define your variables. Create a system. Solve the system. State the solution in your own words, just something like this. And that's how you fully set up and solve and use these systems of equations.